Citing the continued economic impact of the COVID pandemic, Speaker Therese Terlahi is convening the emergency session at 9 a.m. This follows a June 6 petition by Senator Jim Moylan asking that they deliberate on four bills meant to lower gas prices. There are two measures in particular that have been drawing the most attention. One is by Speaker Terlahi herself to eliminate the liquid fuels tax and save 23 cents a gallon. The other is by Appropriations Chair Senator Joe San Augustine, which would also lift the fuels tax, but only temporarily. Terlahi has complained that her bill has been stuck in San Augustine's committee, despite her urging to report it out. That's the importance of the reports. It's like, then we're not acting blindly. We're not acting in a vacuum. We're acting with the actual testimony in front of us, any of the facts that are relevant in front of us, fiscal notes in front of us, all of that is, is in front of us. And so we're held accountable to that knowledge. But San Augustine said there were concerns from committee members over the lasting impacts of Terlahi's proposed permanent repeal of the tax. And then she wants to talk about, well, why don't we just use excess funds of 2022, if I'm correct? And then at the same time, she doesn't put an amount. So when you don't have an amount, then the question is, how much are you looking at? See, there's a difference between her bill and, and the bill I authored, I have co sponsored She doesn't have any. And then the next one is that, you know, um, she, she doesn't identify what the impact is going to be to the different agencies that are involved. And while both measures will be on the emergency session agenda, Governor Leon Guerrero has weighed in with a letter to the speaker today reminding her that just yesterday she made it known that she'd planned to call a special session for Friday, specifically to consider San Augustine's Bill 295. She's now asking that it be given top priority during the emergency session as a bipartisan measure that has the administration's full support. For KOM News, I'm Nestor Lecanto.